my name is Cole Machetti with the South Florida PGA and welcome back to today's rule of the week. Today we're going to take a look at rule 16 and specifically immovable obstructions. In our first example here you can see that my ball has come to rest on this cart path. Um, the hole is over there so I'm going to be playing in that general direction. So in this case I would be entitled to free relief from the cart path find my reference point. I'm going to grab the club that I would hit in this situation and take my stance to where the car path doesn't interfere with the club or my stance or the lie of the ball. So my reference point is going to be right here and from that point I get one additional club length no closer to the hole. And I'm going to pick up my ball, measure out my one club length put another tee in the ground here and so my relief area is from this reference point out to my one club length and now I'm good to drop my ball from knee height and my ball has come to rest in the relief area and my ball is now in play and I can proceed to hit my next shot and in this example you can see my ball has come to rest near this power box and so a player is only entitled to relief from removal obstructions is if there's interference with the lie of the ball the area of intended stance, or in this case, the area of intended swing. I'll be entitled to free relief from the power box. Now let's say my ball is right here. There's definitely no interference with the lock. There's no interference with the area of intended stance. And in this case, there's no interference with the area of intended swing. And just because this box is in my line of play, I am not entitled to free relief and I must play the ball as it lies.